Hey, I'm Mr. Two Star Wars Nerds, and I'm going to be talking about these two comics right here. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, the Aurorient Express comics. These were something else, so let's talk about it. Okay, so these comics right here, I was excited for when they came in the mail. They looked cool. I didn't really know anything about them. I want to know more about this era of Obi-Wan as an apprentice with Qui-Gon as his master. And boy, was I let down. That's for sure. But uh, there are two really cool things in this comic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of give a general overview. And then I'm going to tell you what I really like. And we're just going to avoid all the rest. Okay, so basically what's going on is, you don't, you're not really told why, but Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan are dispatched on this mission to basically go to this luxury cruise liner in space that is crashing very quickly, and they are to, like, stabilize it and rescue it and save the people, and you're not really told why, it's just kind of, you're just thrown into it. So, anyway, there's some cool action-looking stuff. You know, it'd be a cool kind of, like, cartoon episode. Um, and you're introduced to these really strange characters, and they use, like, real-world terms as well. You know, like, cornflakes and billionaire, things like that. It's kind of strange. But, anyway, as the story progresses, you know, there's a lot of plot, plot twists, a lot of twists and turns, and it's one of these whodunit kind of scenarios. Um... Honestly, I, I don't care for the story much at all. But two things that are my favorite. The first is actually found on the very first page of the first comic. So this is a two-part comic series. So on the Aurorient Express, the very first page, um, I think it actually captures really, really well the differences between how Obi-Wan thinks and how Qui-Gon thinks. So basically, you're, you're on this planet. You see the luxury cruise liner. And um, let's just read this together. So you have Obi-Wan say, But Master, a noble act committed for despicable purposes would be sullied by the mere existence of malevolent thought. True, but a despicable act committed for noble purposes brings that very malevolence to the surface and gives it life then which is more acceptable a noble act committed for despicable purposes or a despicable act committed for noble purposes how can one be morally justifiable not the other you must learn as i did from my own master that the true moral value of an act can be calculated by weighing the spirit of the motivation against the benefit of the result and Right there, I think you see Qui-Gon so clearly because Qui-Gon was okay with doing questionable things for the greater good. If it led to something greater, Qui-Gon was about it. Where Obi-Wan was very much by the books, he was very much a, I want to do things the way the Order wants me to do them. And um, as it continues here, it says, He actually believed that certain despicable behaviors can be consciousable. If it is overshadowed by a greater outcome, yes. I have a feeling Master Yoda would find issue with that theory. I know for a fact that he does. Are you ready? And that, ladies and gentlemen, I think is so great. Um, so, you know, right off the bat, beginning of this comic right here um i think that first page is the only thing you really need to read once you read that you can put the rest away um but the second thing i love so much about this is there's a phrase what the hut that i'm gonna use over and over such a great phrase what the hut um so just know on streams and in videos you're gonna hear what the hut a lot more and i encourage you to start saying it yourself it's just uh, an obscure little phrase that you can get from the aurorient express um well ladies and gentlemen nerds of all kind if you have read the aurorient express let me know your thoughts and opinions this is a very bizarre story 
that honestly I would not wait waste your time on um, read the first page you can find it online and after that just put it down and start saying what the hut say with me but anyways I am mr. two Star Wars nerds this is my journey into the EU this was a strange little path that I went down but nonetheless I enjoyed it so with that may the force be with you 